Hello and welcome to Tech Tool India. In this video, I'm going to explain you about user management in Laravel 8. In the last video, we have integrated SB Admin 2 in Laravel 8 and we have completed uh, user registration, login and forget password from uh, Laravel 8 in SB Admin 2. So let's get started. If you have not watched the video, how we integrated this beautiful admin panel into Laravel 8, you can click on the i button and view the video of that integration where we have integrated this SB admin to in Laravel 8. So in this video, as we are going to integrate whole user management system in the Laravel 8, let's go into the code and see how we can integrate that. So this is the root file of this Laravel 8. Let me open the views. And in view, as we are using this master.blade.php as a layout file, and in the layout, as you see, this common dot sidebar is the sidebar. Let's open that. In sidebar, as you see, Laravel 8 is this. This is the dashboard, and here is the users. We need to make this menu as for users. So let's rename it. I'm using this whole HTML from SB Admin 2. So if you want to take a copy of this, I have attached the Git repo link in the description. You can click on that link and clone this repository and use it for free. All right. So we just make this user. We'll do this user components list list user and add user all right if i go into this refresh this page i'll see user list and add all right so let's move to the next section and as, as in laravel for creating any view or operations we just need to create a view root file and root file will go to the controller and controller will load the respective view so let's create the controller i'll use a resource controller uh, the command for resource controller would be php artisan make controller name of controller would be user controller and i'll use this dash dash resource just to make this controller as a resource controller and i hit it creates this app HTTP controllers user controller file and as you can see all the function index create so show edit and update and delete so all this function is created automatically basically for any CRUD operation we need all this function for managing all the CRUD operations first we'll what we'll do we'll create a resource root for that we just need to root resource name of the root would be users and it will load user controller class user controller class as you user controller class so this user controller will be used here that's why we just use this here otherwise what we have to do if we don't if we don't want to use that this here it will go directly to this file and use like this right that's it all right so as you can see this resource is created users if you want to uh, as, as i save this if you want to have a look like how this root will be displayed so just type php artisan root list it will list all the roots if you see this so users dot index will open the index file users dot this is the name of root this is the url for root and this is the method for that url and what respective function it will call it is given here as you see users dot index will call index store create all these functions will be called here all right so it's clear now let's test our root if that is working or not so what we will do in the index function we will dump some hello user text just to make sure if it's working or not so we just need to link this root 
to the users list navigation from sidebar we can do linking in different way but i i would recommend to use naming as it's beautiful feature of laravel root i'll explain in some video like how we can integrate different way but right now i'm using the laravel root name so i'll what i'll do i'll use this root function and pass the name users dot index so it will load the index file or index users dot index will load users controller index function as this method is get so we'll, it will load from here let's save it let's go into the browser refresh it click on the list all right as you see hello user is printed so our integration is correct we just need to add the view for this file so let's make views for this i'll quickly create a new folder just to make sure we have a separate folder for users and the first file would need list of the users so i'll name it list.blade.php and as we are using this master layout file as a master template and every other template i mean if you go into the browser click on the back so this is your master layout where you have a sidebar a header a footer so what we want to change this section this contained section so it will load this contained here so ultimately what we have to do we just use this list open this list uh, blade and we'll extend this to master layout dot master file and next we'll load the section which section contained all right and end section so all the html and of this page will go inside this con section contained right all right so let me quickly grab this users and in index function what we will do we will return this view to users dot list all right let's go into the browser refresh our page click on the list great it's working as you can see it's working all right so this is the user list okay so i'll quickly do one thing i'll go to sb admin to copy the whole blade i'll copy the whole ta table format from sb admin to and load it here let me copy this thing quickly as we are not dealing with html in this video so we'll copy this html from a uh, sb admin to and paste it here okay so we just pasted the html contained from sb admin to its basic table format and the container view div inside this we are just using this users as a heading and then we have this all users this is a table okay let's see all right it's looking good we have this users that we have this card inside the card we have this trtd we will remove this t footer and let's refresh it all right it's looking great what we'll do next we'll here while loading this file we will load all the users so i'll take user model select what we need we need id we need email we need name okay and get as it will load users so as you see user is not used here so what we'll do we'll use app models and user so we'll use this user file in this controller and we are so we have the users in this variable we have to pass this so for passing variable there are several ways to pass the variable from controller to view i personally use with function which takes a key and value pair key will be users whatever key you want to access in view you just name the key and value will be the value for users so it will pass the users variable in this list 
what we'll do in t body will create a for each function for each will use this users variable and give you the object of each user each user will be represented inside the tr and we'll use td in td as we have this user single user variable we'll print the name first and copy the same thing and it's the email save it let's go to the website refresh it all right as you see this is the admin this is the first user which we have created that's printing here it's looking great all right so we have listed our users next what we have to do we'll just make a add button we'll add a add button on this top of this section what we will do we just go and code on the right side we want a anchor button okay href leave it blank for now we'll add it later then can we use this class and then all right we have to put all the class inside the class as we have this add new button here so for our add root what we'll have we have this user dot create which will load this create function and this is a get method let's add on list file on root we are using the root name so we'll do root sorry user dot create users dot create so i just must yes all right if I hover it, you can see users slash create. So let's go into the controller and create function. What we'll return? Let's make add a file first inside a users folder. Let me create quickly a file. What will be add dot new add dot blade dot php? It will add. Similarly, what we did in a list, we have to do it here. We'll extend this layouts.master and then what we'll do we'll add a section here which will be contained and then end section and let's print here add user for now just to see if that's working refresh it click on this it's not because we haven't written this view on controller so we'll return it user What's the folder name? It's users. Yeah, users dot add. We'll do this. Refresh this. Add user will load it. So, add user is working now. So let me quickly add a form here for you. I just quickly grab this whole section. This will be the add users back button. Add new user. Let's save it. Refresh the page. All right, it's looking great. For back button, we just need to link the use this root here for list space so what we'll do load the root name what will the use this root name is use start index that's back button right inside this card we'll load a form for form we have to define a method method will be post and action leave it empty for now so for laravel form to submit the first thing you just need to do it to include a csrf token the next thing would be to create a file where you just need to grab input for name so what we'll do, we'll create a form group inside the form dev, give it a class, form group and a row class inside this, we'll add one name, 
this is name input box let's save it let's refresh the page all right it's looking great similarly we just need to copy the same input box name it email name it email type would be email example email name of this input would be email this folder would be email all right i think it's created to file it's can create we'll quickly create this button submit button so type of this button would be submit and class of this button would be button success i am using all the bootstrap class so just adding the classes so that button will look little bit good so save let's see how it's looking all right all right so as we integrated the form it looking great list list will be list is done if you click on add new if you click on back let's add the add url here as well on the sidebar let's open this sidebar from common folder and add the add url from here so root we use a start create go to page and click on that yes it's loading all right so in the next video we'll see how we can validate the form create the user and store in database for now if you found this video informative please do like in few days i'm going to upload this remaining part where we are using this form validation and creating user in labelate thank you for watching